Hi, my name is Sue and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a gentle head to toe stretch. This is a routine that I sometimes do when I'm short of time and I want to make sure that I hit every single part of my body and still get a good gentle stretch with it. I hope you enjoy it. To do this class, it may be helpful to have a blanket to sit on so that it lifts you up a little taller. Start off in a comfortable seated position with one chin in front of the other or one ankle in front of the other and place your hands on your knees. I like to do this a Sufi rolls to warm up the body. So hands on the knees and start to lean forward first with the inhale and then exhale to take it back. Okay. Inhale forward, exhale back. Next time you come forward, take it into a circular movement of the body. Rotate gently to one side, back and around. Just take it easy, take it slow. Just want to loosen up those joints, connective tissues. Let's switch directions. Come back to the center and switch those legs around. Place your right hand on the ground, take your left hand up and reach it over to the opposite side, keeping both hips grounded. Keep breathing. Open up the chest slightly towards the ceiling. And take that same hand that's overhead and place it on the opposite ear. Gently allow the left ear to drop towards the left shoulder, stretching out through those neck muscles. You can continue to walk that left hand, that right hand away from the body. Gently release that. Place that left hand on the ground. Take your right hand up and over. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. You try expanding the chest up to its the ceiling, open up a little. As you come back up to seated upright, take that hand that's overhead, place it on the opposite ear as you gently let the right ear drop to its the right shoulder, allow the shoulders to relax. You just carefully walk that right hand away from the body if you need a little bit, sorry, that left hand away from the body if you need a little bit more of a stretch to the neck. All right, and then carefully release it back to neutral. Take a moment to roll out those shoulders. Inhale, roll the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale, down and back. Switch directions. Good, relax the shoulders, roll the, shoulder, roll the chin over to Turn the chin over to one shoulder, roll the chin down towards the chest, all the way over to the other side. And come back to the center. Okay. And then we're going to stretch out those shoulders. So bring your arms into eagle arms. Take the left elbow and wrap it under the right. And if it's hard to bring your arms into eagle arms, just grab opposite shoulders. We want to feel that stretch at the back of the body. Allow the shoulders to relax, lift the elbows up slightly, and just hold it here. To get a deeper stretch, you can try to draw the elbows forward a little, and that way it deepens the stretch at the back of the body that way. So just keep breathing here, one more deep breath. Just take note of which elbow is under. You want to make sure you do the opposite next. Okay, so release the hands and interlace the fingers behind your back and make sure the palms are facing one another. Press the hands gently away from the body and lift your gaze up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Great. And let's carefully release those hands and bring the right elbow under the left for those eagle arms. Again, lift off the elbows, allow the shoulders to relax, soften your facial features, draw the arms slightly away from the body and breathe. Okay. 
One more deep breath. And exhale, release. Stretch the arms out and overhead. Grow very tall and then rotate your chest towards the right side. Let the left hand touch the opposite leg. Keep the spine long as you do your best to rotate even more, turning your gaze towards the back wall without jamming into it. Very gentle. Keep it gentle. Inhale, come back to center. Reach those arms overhead and then off to the other side. One more deep breath. Inhale, come on back to the middle. Let's make our way into a tabletop position next. Come on down to your hands and knees. Make sure your knees are well padded. Okay. So in tabletop, your wrists are under the shoulders, knees are about hips width apart. Press down into the hands, really round at the spine, arching the back. Hold it here, keep breathing. And then allow the belly to drop as you lift your chin, stretching in to your cat pose, a cow pose, front of the body stretching. Okay. And then we're going to get a toe stand here, curl your toes under behind you and start to draw back, press back into those heels, press back into those heels by pressing into your hands. So you can stay right here if you're feeling quite a bit of the stretch. If you want more, you can start to walk your hands in, maybe resting your hands on your thighs. So a deep stretch for the legs. Be careful here, allow the shoulders to relax and take deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. Relax the facial features. Good. One more deep breath here. Then walk your hands back forward. Come back into a tabletop position. Point one toe and then the other. A little wiggle of the toes and rolling out of the, the ankles here might be good. And we're going to come into hero's pose and just sink back into hero's pose. And if you need a block to place in between your legs and go ahead and do that. Some of you can sit on your heels and others can sit in between the heels and so just stretching out the legs, the front of the legs. And if you need more for this, you can lean back. Let's go as far as comfortable to feel that stretch just for the legs, the front of the legs. Okay, let's take a few deep breaths here, a few deep breaths. One more. Okay, and then walk your hands forward. And at this point, I usually come into a downward facing dog just to stretch out the, the back of the body. And if that's not right for you, just come into tabletop and stretch out one leg at a time, just alternate. Okay, just one leg at a time, feeling like stretch the back of the legs. If you're alright to come into down dog, press up into down dog and pedal out the feet, bend one knee and then the other. I just want to make sure you get a good stretch the back of the body. And then pause here in down dog for a few breaths. Or if you're in tabletop, just pause stretching one leg. If you're still in down dog, just hold it there a little longer if you can. Switch legs if you're in tabletop, press that heel back. Good. And then if you're in down dog, lower down. If you're in tabletop, we're going to come uh, down to seated as well. And actually, we're going to put onto our backs. So put the blankets aside for now. You can use it under the head if you need it. Right. So coming into onto your back, a good place here to stretch out the front of the body a little bit more into those hip flexors. And bridge pose will be a great place for it. So feet about hips width apart. Plant down into the feet to lift the hips off the mat. And your arms will just relax by your side. And this is to feel the stretch of the front of those hips right into those hip flexors. So if you need more, you can press the hips up a little higher. If you're feeling it at a lower level, go ahead and just remain there. So keep breathing, let the belly uh, flow freely. Keep the legs strong, keep the thighs parallel to one another. And then gently roll that spine down onto the ground. 
Okay. So we take a figure four stretch for the hip. Place the right ankle just above the left knee. You can stay right here if you're feeling it in the, in the hips. Or you can start to deepen the stretch by drawing that left knee in a little closer towards the body and either wrapping your hands around the thigh or you can even just hold on to that leg that's on top if you prefer. Okay. So whichever is more comfortable. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Place that right foot back down into the ground. Cross the left ankle just above the right knee. Keep that left foot flexed. Stay there or deepen the stretch. Drawing that right knee in towards the belly. Keep breathing. And if I have time, I usually like to finish off with a spinal twist here. So please feel free to join me in your favorite spinal twist. For today, I'm going to shift my hips over to the right side of the mat. So it's a bump of the hips, a couple of inches towards the right, and then let the knees drop to the left. And this way it keeps the, the spine in line, even as you take the spinal rotation. And then use your left hand to Gently press that right knee down, and then keep that right arm stretched out about shoulder height. And turn your gaze away from the knees. Okay. And then come back to the center. Bump your hips towards the left side, a couple of inches so to the left, and let that right knee, the knees drop towards the right side. So use your right hand to press that knee, those knees down to deepen the stretch. And then left arm stretches out about shoulder height. And turning the gaze away, turning the gaze away from those knees. And then coming back to the middle, back to the center, let the hip center. And if you feel that uh, if anything else is missing, maybe you like to hug the knees into the chest and give it a little bit of a roll out or uh, perform uh, other asanas, other poses, feel free to do those. Uh, otherwise, a little bit of Shavasana is always nice. Uh, feel free to join me or if you're headed off to do something else, thank you very much and namaste. And coming to Shavasana, just stretch those legs out and relax. And just try to relax your limbs and soften your entire body. Let go of all residual, residual tensions. And then with calm body and calm mind, enjoy Shavasana. <laughs>